let's talk about Gavin Newsom. I don't know how much you know about Gavin Newsom, but for certain he looks like a uh, an evil villain here. That smile is very creepy. All right, ad hominem. I don't want to. It it is the way he looks like, right? Whatever. I'm. I don't mean to make fun of the way he looks, but you know, call him a spade a spade. This guy is is rather evil. Uh, he's practically sold California out. On Monday, Democratic legislators who dominate the California legislature passed a bill, SB 152, that will allow them to move up the recall election of Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, galvanizing GOP legislators who accused Newsom of cheating in order to ensure the recall effort fails. Newsom signed the bill on Monday. Oh, what a surprise. Republican Assemblyman Kevin Kiley stated the conclusion is inescapable that Gavin Newsom is cheating in the recall and this legislation is his willing accomplice GOP assemblyman Vince Fong echoed it is an attempt to put a thumb on the scale to try to obtain a partisan outcome for one side he's manipulating the system Cal University of California Berkeley Political scientist Professor Jack Citrin added, they're trying to create a situation that is most favorable for the partisan outcome that they favor. Uh-huh. The Democrats' move would permit the recall election to take at least 30 days earlier than under existing state law. Democrats hope to take advantage of what they view as favorable, condition, favorable conditions for Newsom as the state moves on from the worst days of the pandemic and related restrictions, the Associated Press reported, adding recall organizers collected 1.7 million signatures in support of recalling Newsom, and he'll face an election later this year. Without the recall, he'd face uh, voters in 2022 for a regularly scheduled re-election. The bill allows Democrats to circumvent the legislative review process if legislators target funds for counties to pay for the cost of the election. The State Department of Finance already sought a cost estimate, estimate from counties and lawmakers plan to approve uh, $215 million to cover the local expense, AP noted. Joshua Spivak who supervises the recall elections blog, told AP that normally when recalls alter election laws, it occurs after the election. In 2017, California Democrats changed the recall rules in order to protect State Senate jo Josh Newman from a recall effort, but Newman was not involved in the effort, Kylie noted, charging that bare minimum level of decency exhibited by Senator Josh Newman is way too much to ask of Governor, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom. We have the unprecedented circumstance where Gavin, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom, with a stroke of a pen, will be changing California law in order to try to beat back his own recall. He signed the bill on Monday. It's ridiculous. Nathan Click, a spokesman for Newsom's campaign, didn't respond to multiple requests for comment about whether the campaign had communicated with Democratic lawmakers, lawmakers about recall timing. You think they did? Of course they did. Of course they talked about it. He signed the bill. He knows exactly what they're doing. It's ridiculous. So this is the, the, uh, the statement of the bill, SB 152. Existing law requires the Department of Finance to estimate the costs of a recall election upon notification from the Secretary of State that voters have signed a recall petition in sufficient numbers to initiate a recall election. Existing law requires the Department of Finance to submit the cost of estimate to the governor, the Secretary of State, and the chairperson of the Joint Legislative Budget Committee within 30 days of receiving that notice. Existing law prohibits the Secretary of State from certifying the sufficiency of the signatures until the Joint Legislative Budget Committee has had 30 days to review and comment on the Department of Finance's cost estimate. This bill will 
allow the Secretary of State to certify the sufficiency of the signatures before the Joint Legislative Budget Committee has had 30 days to review and comment on the estimate if the legislator had appropriated funds it determines as are reasonable, ne reasonably necessary to conduct the recall election and has designated funds for that purpose in the Budget Act or another statute. Whew. All right. So basically, they're just trying to tweak it so that he can get he can be like, well, you know, didn't get the funds or something along those lines, twisting it, making so that he doesn't have to face this recall. This is one thing that I know about Gavin Newsom. Nobody likes Gavin Newsom. Nobody. I don't like Gavin Newsom. Do you like Gavin Newsom? This dude gave a billion dollars of taxpayer money to China last year remember that and what did they get from it like 300 million dollars worth of ppe gear that's it he didn't where'd the rest of that money go gavin newsom hmm that's a problem not to mention all the other things about gavin newsom but one thing i know is nobody in california that i know even my liberal liberal friends i don't even want to i don't even call them friends anymore because they basically cut me out of their life when i made my political statement last year of who i was voting for even they said, I can't stand Gavin Newsom. N I, nobody I know likes Gavin Newsom. And good riddance. This guy's getting recalled. I don't think he can change whatever rules that he wants. The people want him gone. 1.7 million signatures. 1.7 million signatures. That's crazy. They got 1.7 million people to go, go out of their way to sign a petition. I know it doesn't sound like much, right? But people are lazy inherently. Come on. 1.77 million signatures. This dude's uh, going bye-bye. All right? Bye-bye, Gavin Newsom.